here at Toy Fair 2011 and I stumbled across one of my kids' favorite toys, Buckyballs. And I asked Jake here uh, the story of Buckyball. First he said the Buckyballs aren't really for children. It's an adult desk toy. The name. So there's a guy named Buckminster Fuller. Yeah. And he's a famous architect who, who invented shapes. And one of the shapes that he invented is a sphere made of triangles. It's the shape of uh, like Epcot Center or the roof. It's, uh, it's a very structurally sound shape. You actually, it's very hard to crush. People started calling that a Buckyball. And when we came up with this product, we liked making Buckyballs out of Buckyballs, so we named them Buckyballs. Somebody realized that the carbon-60 molecule, which is a very light, very strong molecule, uh, for all of the same reasons, actually, that the geodesic dome is so light and strong and structural, it's a sphere made of loops. And so they named that a Buckyball or Fullerene again in honor of Buckminster Fuller and that discovery and the innovations that came from it recently won a Nobel Prize. Well, there's also other magnetic balls out there there's other magnetic with different balls names. Out there. Different names, right. We didn't invent the magnet. We just sort of came up with the, with the reason why you might play with it, packaging and all okay. that kind of stuff. Okay, like and that. I'm looking at Buckyballs, the silver edition and you have the gold edition. Yeah. These, that's just what's new at uh, Toy Fair. Well, now we actually have a book coming out. That's, okay. That's uh, wisdom called for a million online fans. The signature collection. Yeah. Three, two executives and a regular. There's but, a, lot of, uh, a lot of weight in there. But this is this is you know the brand name this is a rare earth element called yeah. neodymium. It's brought out of the ground, and then it becomes tubes. They they sort of bore through it like a. Uh, something like a drill. It, yep. it ends up as tubes. Those tubes are then chopped into little pieces. Those pieces are ground into spheres. Uh, those spheres are plated in nickel or silver, in the case of the ones that you're holding. And at the These very are silver? last stage, yeah, they're plated in silver. That's why they're sort of more silvery than a bit more. I'm feeling a strong magnetism toward my pocket. What do you yeah, do about a, that? A, a strong draw. <laughs> a strong. It actually doesn't become a magnet until the very last step. So okay. it gets electrocuted and it comes out of this machine and, and what went in as kind of pellets that were all separate comes out as one giant block. And where is all this, where does this take place? It all happens in China. The, okay, yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much for the Buckyball update. Yeah, no problem.